Like that's what I love about watches. It's just, again, it's the same thing as food. You, when you go and you eat at a really great restaurant and the food's amazing. And as a chef, you're like, this took them two weeks to make this garnish because they had to dehydrate it and rehydrate it and pulverize it and fry it and, and then hang cure it or whatever. You know, you, you just see like the immense amount of process that went in and it's the same with watches. It's like, this was thought about a long time. The company's called Pete's Paleo and it's in the vein of the Blue Apron and Plated and those types of direct-to-consumer food businesses. But we operate strictly in the paleo sphere, so all the proteins are pastured and organic, all the vegetables are seasonal and organic, everything comes from as local a place as possible. The menu changes every week, so you're gonna get 10 different items. All of the things are cooked differently, all different spices and flavors, and everything's cooked and prepared for you and then we ship it fresh direct to your door. And with watches, it's the same thing. It's this so much thought beforehand before you even get started and then putting everything in order, in the perfect order. Like when you look at your wrist, like to me, it's not just the time that you're seeing, you're seeing like all of that thought and ingenuity put into a beautiful product. I have three watches that I would say are beginning of my collection. And the first is, it's actually the first watch that I got from Crown & Caliber, is this Omega Chronograph. And it's one of the prettiest watches I've ever seen. It's got this beautiful black dial. Everything is all polished chrome. I think a lot of times Omegas, they will have like all the names of Seamaster, Speedmaster, and you can end up with a lot of extra kind of lines in the dial. This is not that at all. It's just super, super clean. I kind of call it like my tuxedo watch. Anytime I go to any fundraiser or any special event, that's going to be the watch that I wear. And I just have always loved Omegas. I think they're classic, plus it's the James Bond watch. So yeah, big fan of Omega. The other Omega that I have uh, is actually, it's a really cool story. So it is a gift from my wife for our wedding. And she knew that I wanted a vintage Omega and she found it online. But unfortunately, it was through eBay, and there's just no guarantees. Uh, another good reason that you guys exist. So we got the watch, and it literally worked for a day. And we brought it to Omega. They were like, this is a beautiful watch. We've, we've never even seen this watch. It's got a, it just says Omega Seamaster, and it's a red dial. So they sent it back to Seattle, which is where Omega's home base is located here in the States. And they said, this has got to go back to Switzerland. So it took four months to get it back, but it is a 1948 fighter pilot watch. It's got this really old school glow in the dark paint on the minute and hour hand and around the dial. And I wonder like how much radiation is probably <laughs> in it to, to, to make it still glow in the dark because it's from 1948. But yeah, it was issued for Swiss fighter pilots after World War II. And so it was the one year they did that red face and that glow in the dark paint for them when they were flying. So Bell & Ross, it's a big fat tank of a watch. It's somewhat subtle because it's the Phantom 0394, so it's all blacked out. And the design of it is so beautiful though, because you think that like it would be hard to read the time, but it does, you know, it has a luminescence to it when you're in the dark, but even if you're not in like the best of light, just the way it was cut and the way that they set it up in the watch, you can always pick out where the hands are and you always can tell the time even though it's completely blacked out. I'm a chef and I always wanted a nice watch and I always loved the Bell & Ross shape and the fact that they're just built like tanks. I remember reading that like the French bomb squad used them and I was like, yeah, that's something that a chef can put through the ringer and it'll still come out the other side. So the ability to crack into watch collecting and high-end watches without having to plunk down five, 10, 15, you know, $20,000 is pretty incredible. But then it's also really cool to think, you know, to be able to get that and know that it came from a place that is gonna take care of it and, and did a good job, you know, restoring it. That's a great deal. Crown & Caliber is, I think, the only place to get a watch. You know, unless you really wanna spend way more than you need to or, and not have the option of the variety, yeah, I think Chronic Caliber is the only place to get a watch.